Now to President Obama's plan to tax Wall Street. We told you last week a battle was looming here, and sure enough, the big banks are saying not so fast. In fact, they've hired a lawyer to press the case. Bloomberg's Lizzie O'Leary has that story and the strategy behind it. Lizzie. Yeah, Eric, we're talking about the trade group that represents the big financial services companies here in D.C. They're called SIFMA, and their decision to hire a top Supreme Court lawyer, Carter Phillips, to question whether this bank tax is constitutional. Since it could cost B of A and J.P. Morgan each $1.5 billion a year to those banks, the argument is that it could be a bill of attainder. That singles out a specific company. That's unconstitutional. Still, several other top lawyers say it's a pretty tough lift, and one called it a long shot. No suit has been filed. Phillips says it's more about looking at the particulars of this case. And really underneath it, a lot of this is about swaying Congress, maybe to lessen the amount of that tax, make it a little less punitive. In a sense, you can think of this as legal suiting up before some pregame spin. The White House is doing some spin of its own. The president putting his argument forth uh, in his weekly radio address. Those who oppose this fee say the banks can't afford to pay back the American people without passing on the costs to their shareholders and customers. But that's hard to believe when there are reports that Wall Street is going to hand out more money and bonuses and compensation just this year than the cost of this fee over the next 10 years. A look for this bill to move forward in the House, but it's a tougher lift in the Senate. Uh, and that's even without that questionable seat in Massachusetts that we're watching today, Deirdre. All right, Lizzie, thanks very much.